If you sell products, the absolute worst thing that can happen on your website is that somebody visits your website, doesn't purchase, leaves, and never comes back again. We all accept we can't make a sale every single time. Conversion rate for most people is around 1%. We obviously wanna get that as high as possible, but we want to stop people leaving and not coming back. That is the key. That's what we're gonna look at today, and we're gonna look at something that I call making sales when you don't make sales. Alternatively, you can look at it as generating leads. But this is how we're gonna do it in a really simple and effective way. Our first way of doing this is, in my opinion, the best way of doing this. Let's give you the good stuff up front and we're gonna do it with a plugin. So let's go to our WordPress admin dashboard and the plugin we're gonna use is Optin Monster. If you wanna search for Optin Monster and install it, you can go to plugins here and add new plugin. Now, there is two versions of Optin Monster. There is a free plan that you can use or there is a paid version. That is what I'm going to be using today because it is more powerful, but there is plenty you can do with the free plugin as well. So let's go through this and go into the Optin Monster dashboard. So from the dashboard, we can scroll down here and we can have a look at all the different types of pop-ups we can create. This is what Optin Monster does. This is gonna allow you to create pop-ups, to create engagement in order to get leads, maybe offer discounts so that people come back. So if you miss a sale at that very moment, don't worry, you create a lead, you give a discount, you entice people to come back at a different point. So let's get that information. I'm gonna start by doing this with just a normal pop-up. So let's click on create new. Now there are loads of templates that you can use, seasonal ones, depending on your goals, what your industry is. They're really, really fantastic. And as you can see, you can look across and see what the different options are. Feedback surveys, subscribe to newsletter. That one is very popular. The one we are going to use today is get a discount code. This one just here. So let's use this template. What are we gonna call the campaign? I'm just gonna call this one discount code. Let's start building. So this is what our pop-up is going to look like. It's already super appealing, but of course we can amend and adjust this to whatever suits us. Don't like this image? Don't worry, we can change it. Don't wanna do this discount? Don't worry, let's change it. And let's start by doing that. So let's go up here and let's say, let's make that discount 15%. You can see there that I've got the wrong color font, but that's all right. Let's just highlight the font here and you can see I've got all of the different options as to what I can do. Text color, let's make it black. Perfect. Let's say this image isn't what we're looking for as the background, it doesn't suit my particular brand. So let's click on that. We can come across here and we can change it. Now, the brand that I am essentially, or the website, should we say, that I've created is a sample website for a marketing company. So I'm going to use a image that suits that particular brand. Now you can see it is fairly similar, but it's got marketing logo in it and a different person, different colors that maybe suit my brand a little bit better. And that was incredibly easy. We can then come here to the background overlay and we can switch that as well. So let's change that to a, again, slightly more on brand color for the pop-up. So because Optin Monster is set up to be incredibly user-friendly, this is the first step. So this is essentially the yes, no section. You can see the tab down the bottom here. This is for yes, no. Do you want to get an extra 15% off? Yes or no. Obviously, we're hoping people are gonna click yes. Why would you not? So then you get the opt-in screen, which is just here. So again, we wanna change this to 15% so that everything lines up. And once again, we want to change that text color. So get an additional 15% on your order. And again here, 15%. Oh, that's not correct either. Let's make that bold. So what do people need to do to get that additional 15%? 
enter their email address. So enter your email address and submit. So you can see here, we have generated a lead because you have an email address in order to try and entice somebody back later. But there is another step. So now once we have that, by the way, if we want to move any of this, we can or amend it. We're happy with that. We need to go through to the success section. Success here, enter the code. So you're gonna give people a code to use at another point or right now. So this is either gonna convince people to make that purchase right this very second, or it's gonna convince people to maybe come back at a later date and use the code. Now, of course, this means that you need to have this code active. You can do this with something like advanced coupons, which is definitely the best way to do it. However, you can just build one very easily within WooCommerce. So in, from your admin dashboard here, we've got the WooCommerce marketing section. We can come to coupons, and in here, you're gonna be able to add and create new coupons. I already have one here, 15 new is the coupon. So let's go back across here and change this to 15 new, because that is my coupon code. Everything else looks great, so we can save this. And then in the top tabs, we've got things like display rules. So this is where things are gonna appear, when they're going to appear, which is of course, very important. Time on the page is at least five seconds and current URL path, so this could pop up on any page. So let's say is the home page. that's where we want it to pop up. And time on page, five seconds, completely fine. We've got integrations. If we do have other integrations that we want to put in with this, we're not gonna worry about it too much today. You can have a look at your analytics. And then what we're interested in here is publishing. So now that's done, we can see our campaign here. And if I head up to my site and we look at the preview of my site, this is what it looked like before. It's still gonna look the same, but let's refresh the page and see if our pop-up is operational. This is the home page, and refresh. And there we go, pop-up pretty much immediately. Do you wanna get an extra 15% off your order? Yes, no. Now, let's press yes here. You can see you've got your email, and then if we press submit, you're going to get that discount code. This obviously is really great, and it's going to lead to more leads and more conversions. Now, of course, I've set that up to arrive very quickly on the homepage, just for the sake of being able to show you it. But you might wanna choose for that to pop up on the checkout page. Or with Optin Monster, there's even something called Exit Intent Technology. So if it can sense that somebody's going to look to leave your website, the pop-up can appear then. And then once they're looking to leave, it can offer that discount to entice them to say, stay, or as I say, get that lead so that you can get them back at another point. That's what's crucial here. How are we gonna make sales when we maybe don't make the sale immediately? Leads with pop-ups is one of, if not the most effective way to do it. And Optin Monster is your best friend when it comes to doing this. But it doesn't all have to be pop-ups. I have another amazing way of us being able to generate those leads to make sales when we can't make sales. What we're gonna do for this is we're gonna use this plugin here. We're going to use SeedProd. Now you have a lot of options with SeedProd as to a variety of things you can do. For example, you can set a coming soon page. I've actually already got one. So let's activate that and just have a look at what that looks like. This is what my coming soon page looks like. It is a conversions coming soon page. I'm not just telling people that I've got a new website on the way. I am telling them how to get notified about that, how to generate a lead. Now you could do this with a coupon code or anything at all. Come back to us and get this particular discount enter your email, enter your email for a discount. There's a whole bunch of things you can do to get people to return so that you can start to make sales when you can't make sales. Obviously, I also have a countdown here to encourage people to return. 
I may have gone a bit over the top with the dates, uh, setting it to almost 700 days from now. That's probably not my best move, but it's a sample site, so we will survive. But I generated all of this in SeedProd using their builder, and I would argue I think it looks really great. So if we go back to our seed prod homepage here, you can also see that you can create dedicated sales landing pages. So let's have a look at this particular one that I've already created. And this is a sales landing page that I built off the basis of how Spotify make their sales landing pages using all of the things they do to get over 2 million premium subscribers I created this landing page based on learnings from them. So if you want to be able to do that too, you want to click this video right here.